Health Occupation Students of America, or HOSA, work together to make flower arrangements to give to the elderly. Tina Wynn said she put this project together when she was inspired by an article online about a company who did the same kind of project. I searched up online like if they had any around Dallas, but they didn't, so I just decided to start like my own project. On March 2nd, HOSA prepared these arrangements, and these students said that they were glad to give their time to this project. As a HOSA member as well, I wanted to like make sure that you know we're all doing our part in this really awesome communities project. Tina Wynn said she put a lot of work into putting this project together. Over the last few weeks, I contacted florists around Dallas and McKinney, and many of them were generous enough to donate these flowers to me. And um, I kind of teamed up with the HOSA club so we could like get the water bottles. With many weeks of preparation, HOSA students were able to create the arrangements. This project in particular really gives back to a community that's often overlooked in the nursing home population. The residents are often lonely. On March 3rd, some of the HOSA students went to the nursing home to hand out the flowers they made. And those students soon realized the purpose of this project. I think this whole project, it's more of like the reward of seeing people happier. Ms. William hopes this project will teach these students valuable lessons. So I really hope the students can learn just a little bit about how to brighten someone's day um, and how much fun they can have doing something really small and have such a big impact on them. Helping others makes me feel kind of like rewarding to see um, what like a little impact like this community service project can have on others and kind of inspire others to do the same. I'm Rebecca Robinson with Night TV.